Charlotte 7 Action News reporter Kim Russo has both sides tonight. The Dexter superintendent says this is a story about a school district taking action to protect children. But the man at the center of this story, his attorney, has a different take. He says it's about a district destroying a man's life without proper evidence. Let's first take a look at what allegedly happened. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says in August it let Dexter Community Schools know it was investigating a photographer who had worked with the district so the district could take action. We received a call from a, a concerned parent, a mother who had discovered some uh, social media messages back and forth between her teenage daughter. We banned Mr. from our property. Dexter Community Schools Superintendent Dr. Chris Timmis says the district took swift action because its priority is protecting children. It gave the man accused a chance to clear his name by handing over his phone as evidence during a meeting, and he refused. After catching Mr. Bowden failing to be truthful regarding his communication with an underage girl, he and his attorney abruptly ended the meeting. The attorney for the man, William Amadeo, says he's outraged that again and again school and law enforcement authorities are sharing the man's name, even though he's not charged with any crime. But we felt we had to fight back. Dexter leaked his information without doing an investigation. At that point, he was getting threatening phone calls. His business turned upside down. Because he's not charged, we're not sharing his name. Amadeo says these are the results of a polygraph test his client took and passed to prove his innocence. Guilty people don't pass polygraphs. That's my opinion. Parents in the school district are having mixed reactions to how the situation was handled. They all want information to protect their children, but they're divided on whether the man's name should have been withheld. Obviously, these are our children, and, and we, of course, everyone wants to protect their children from things like this, but I just, I wonder if it, the dis district has gone about doing this the right way. I think the school handled things perfectly, in my opinion. The attorney for the man under investigation says his client is willing to not only take this polygraph test, but one through Michigan State Police. In Dexter, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Kim.